Oh, Mercy was a legal stunner outside Philadelphia, the first celebrity convicted in the Me Too era. Tonight is a free man. Disgraced actor and comedian Bill Cosby today walking out of a Pennsylvania prison after all charges against him were dropped. Does he deserve to go free? And what does that mean for all of his alleged victims, I guess, at this point, as well as people like Harvey Weinstein who are cheering? The, way, the man once known as America's dad was convicted of drugging and molesting dozens of women and had been in prison for nearly three years. But today, Pennsylvania's highest court overturned his conviction, saying the 83-year-old actor never should have been faced charges in the first place. The judges, it was a seven-judge panel, ruled that the legendary sitcom star had a non-prosecution deal with the previous district attorney, and the current DA ignored that deal. In other words, he got out on a technicality. This afternoon, Cosby did not comment on the case, but his lawyers did. Watch. He knew all along he never should have been prosecuted for this. He had every right to rely on the prosecutor's word. And they pulled the rug out from underneath him because of politics, because of the court of public opinion, and that is not how our system should operate. When that happens, there cannot be a just sentence. And if there had been a just verdict and a just sentence, we wouldn't be here fighting. But there was not a just sentence and a not a just verdict. No, oh, blah, blah, blah. That voice. Good God. Use that for birth control. Earlier tonight, Cosby tweeted, quote, I have never changed my stance nor my story. I've always maintained my innocence. Thank you to all my fans, supporters, and friends who stood by me through this ordeal. Special thanks to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court for upholding the rule of law. Hashtag Bill Cosby. But the shocking reversal, obviously, not sitting well with Cosby's accusers. Attorney Gloria Allred represented 33 of them. That's a lot of accusers. And in a statement today, said in part, quote, Despite the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Supreme Court's decision, this was an important fight for justice. And even though the court, court overturned the conviction on technical grounds, it did not vindicate Bill Cosby's conduct and should not be interpreted as a statement or a finding that he did not engage in the acts of which he has been accused. The accusations against Cosby were obviously quite disturbing. Many of his alleged victims claim Cosby drugged them with pills and then raped them while they were unconscious. Cosby does have some supporters, including his former TV wife from The Cosby Show actress Felicia Rashad. She tweeted, quote, finally, a terrible wrong is being righted. A miscarriage of justice is corrected. End tweet. So did the court do the right thing or were they wrong? All right, here to uh, could Cosby face another trial? Oh, my God, there's only one person to ask criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. He's argued both sides quite effectively. Randy Zellin is back. Welcome back, Randy. Thank you for having me. So what exactly happened here? Because all the stories that we've heard about Bill Cosby, even uh, from his own admission, uh, that he was doing some pretty horrific things. And that's the important takeaway. Gloria Allred got it right. The decision today has nothing to do with whether or not Bill Cosby is a monster mm -hmm. or not. It is simply a matter of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania saying, hey, wait a second. This man was offered an agreement with the district attorney. The district attorney said, I will not prosecute you. Go deal with the civil suits. Cosby said, OK. That is a contract, like any other contract. And that contract was relied upon, or relied upon by Cosby. He had the right to rely upon it. And quite frankly, that contract was enforceable. It should have been enforced from the get-go. He should have never been tried the first time or the second time. So the Supreme Court simply said, enforceable contract? Hey, you're not happy with the so deal is, now? Is too there, late, too bad. And, and what is the current DA saying about that contract? Well, it's irrelevant because the current DA and any DA who thought that he or she could get around that agreement was so guilty of a miscarriage of justice because ultimately, at the end of the day, a prosecutor's job is to do justice. If you offer someone a non-prosecution agreement, you must live with it. Your word is your bond. If the defense bar, if the public can't trust the prosecutor, we're all screwed. Well, if the public can't trust the guy, then he should be in jail if he's drugging women and having sex with their unconscious bodies. So what can be and done now? Is there, is there any other avenue where some of these victims can seek justice? Criminally, in the state of Pennsylvania, any case that falls under that agreement, that case is over what and can California? never be brought again. 
in, in California, if the statute of limitations hasn't run and there is offense conduct that took place in California, then the answer is absolutely yes. What would you tell some of the victims who are still uh, very, very upset, not just by uh, the alleged abuse and horrific crimes that he supposedly committed, but, um, you know, to people who want to see him held accountable? The reality is I would tell the victims as much as I could understand what they're going through, and I don't profess for a moment to be able to, but I would say justice sometimes comes to us in very, very weird ways. What happened to you has not been changed by this decision. What happened to you remains. He is a horrifying, horrible human being. However, the district attorney made an agreement with him, mm -hmm. and the district attorney has to live with it. And it is unfortunate that another district attorney felt for a political reason or for whatever the reason to simply discard that agreement and really discard justice. That's the travesty here. That's the wrongdoing what, here. So, then don't make a deal. Okay, so Harvey Weinstein's team is, uh, they're, they're applauding this decision. How will they internalize this? Well, knowing Arthur Idala as I know him, I, I don't know that Arthur is applauding this because I believe that Arthur knows full well that this agreement has absolutely no impact on Harvey Weinstein's case. It's not a matter of the court saying, wait a minute, you cannot parade in victim after victim after victim and bring in allegations of uncharged prior conduct. That is overly prejudicial. Had the court ruled upon that, that would be a feather in Harvey Weinstein's cap. But the fact that Bill Cosby got off on a technicality mm -hmm. because he had an agreement, Harvey Weinstein cannot fall back on any such agreement. So the Cosby decision today, zero impact on Harvey Weinstein's future. Well, someone's got to pay the piper at some point. And I have a feeling that Bill Cosby might wake up tonguing Hitler's bunghole in hell. Thank you, Randy. Thank you.